I would turn a mess into a disaster. Anna Duggar's kids might be suffering these days. When your world is shattered, there are a lot of emotions. Not only did their dad go to prison for his unspeakable crimes, but recently rumors have started spreading about how exactly Anna is supporting her children nowadays. And you guys won't believe what she might actually be doing. Anna and Josh have seven kids together. That's obviously a lot less than Jim Bob and Michelle's 19 kids, but it's still a lot of kids to take care of, especially now that Josh is in prison. And that's the thing. We all know that before he was incarcerated, Josh was the one who provided for their family. Anna was a stay-at-home mom. She didn't have a job. Actually, as far as we know, she's never had a job in her entire life. Josh proposed to her on her 20th birthday, and they got married shortly after. Their first child, Mackenzie, was born about a year later. So, Anna's been a housewife and a stay-at-home mom pretty much her entire adult life. And you'd think that things would be different now. Anna can't rely on Josh's financial support anymore. Not only is he in prison, but he was also actually ordered to pay over $50,000 after his sentencing. So, he can't provide for his family anymore. But despite all that, as far as we know, Anna is still not working. Allegedly, she refuses to get a job. And there's a reason for that. Anna doesn't want to work outside of the house because it's against her religion to do so. She and Josh are members of the Institute in Basic Life Principles. This is the same religion that Jim, Bob, and Michelle are a part of. And we all know that they have some honestly crazy beliefs and rules that people have to follow. As a woman, Anna can't just get a job because it would go against the IBLP's teachings. But if she's still not working, how is she providing for her seven children? After Josh went to prison, it was reported that Anna was all about her kids. An insider claimed that they were her number one priority and that she was focusing all her energy on them. But if that's true, then isn't she concerned about not having a job and a stable source of income? How does she get enough money for all her kids? Someone on Reddit suggested that she could be on welfare, which would actually be pretty insane. Because the Duggar family isn't just a against women having jobs. Over the years, Jim Bob has often spoke down about people who receive benefits. So it would be extremely hypocritical if Anna was on welfare now, since it would go against everything the family has stood for all these years. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with being on welfare. That's not the problem here. The problem is Jim Bob and his crazy attitude toward people who are on benefits, because here's the thing. If Anna's on welfare, Jim Bob definitely knows about it, which means that he's probably allowed Anna to be on benefits. And that's that's why this whole thing is so hypocritical. We don't know for sure if Anna is on welfare, but I do think that it's pretty likely. Like I said, she has seven kids to take care of, and she also has to take care of herself. And she doesn't have a job, so she must be getting money from somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised at all if she was relying on food stamps and other benefits these days. We haven't had any confirmation of this, but think about it. We wouldn't have any kind of confirmation of this, because Jim Bob wouldn't allow that. Now that Josh is in prison, he seems to be the one who has all the power over Anna, and he wouldn't let her just admit that she's on welfare, even if it's true, because it would go against everything he believes in. He's probably happy for her to receive benefits as long as people don't actually know about it. And that's why I think he's just a massive hypocrite. But there's another side to all this as well, and this makes Jim Bob look even worse, because the truth is that he could easily support Anna and her kids and just take care of them financially. Allegedly, he and Michelle have a net worth of about 3.6 million dollars. So it's not like they couldn't afford to support Anna. I mean, it probably wouldn't be ideal for her because it would make her even more tied to the Duggars. But she's already kind of trapped anyway. So this is the least they could do. And I don't know, maybe Jim Bob does actually cover some of Anna's expenses, but I kind of doubt that he's paying for everything. We all know how he was when it came to the family's TV money. He basically wanted to keep everything for himself. He didn't want to share any of the money with his kids. So he's not exactly the most generous person person, which is why I think that it's even more likely that Anna's on benefits and that he knows about it and supports it, as long as it all stays a secret. Either way, Anna definitely needs some kind of financial support because she doesn't just have seven kids and no job. Her net worth is also not that great either. According to In Touch, Anna's net worth is only about $60,000, which is just not enough to support seven kids. And there's one issue with all this that's actually really confusing. Someone on Reddit also pointed out that Anna might not actually be eligible for benefits. And there's a pretty simple reason for this, and that's that she refuses to get a job. It's not that she can't work, she could, she just doesn't want to. She could send her kids to school and look for a job, but she's not willing to do that. 
So, does that mean that she doesn't actually qualify for welfare? Well, I'm not sure. She might not qualify for unemployment benefits or anything like that, but I feel like she might still be able to get something for all her kids. Either way, if she's dependent on welfare and Jim Bob, that doesn't bode well for her future. A while ago, there were rumors that Anna was slowly moving away from the core beliefs of IBLP, but I'm not sure if that's actually true. I mean, maybe she feels some type of way about it all, but she definitely can't just leave IBLP or anything like that because then Jim Bob would definitely stop supporting her and her kids completely. And I'm not sure that just receiving welfare would be enough for her to provide for her children. I think that right now, she's probably relying on Jim Bob as well as on benefits. But if that's true, it just means that she's trapped. Even if she was willing to get a job, I'm not sure if she could, because the moment she would decide to do that, Jim Bob would most likely cut her off, and she would probably want to avoid that for the sake of her children. She's also never actually had a job before for, so finding one that pays enough would probably be nearly impossible. As far as we know, Anna did actually attend an online college program in early childhood education, so she could potentially look for a job as a teacher. But I'm not convinced that that would be enough for her to provide for all of her kids. Plus, again, she has no experience. So I really think that there's no escaping for her right now, which is honestly heartbreaking. I just feel so bad for her, but I feel even worse for her kids. They're completely innocent in all this. I just hope that they're not suffering right now. But what do you guys think about all this? Do you think Anna might be on welfare? And do you think Jim Bob knows about it? Do you think he should be covering all of Anna's bills? Let me know in the comments below.